Hello everyone! Uh, I forgot to mention it yesterday, because yesterday's episode came out on Sunday, but as I'm recording this, it is Easter Sunday. I hope you guys had a very good Easter, all things considered. You know, it's, it's a crazy times we're living in right now. So, if you are, uh, you know, I hope if you guys had the opportunity, you spent it with your family. Um, and if you didn't, you know, it's understandable because of everything that's going on. Not really a good idea to be going over family's house if you don't live with them. Uh, fortunately, I was able to spend it with my family because we live with them. Uh, so, yeah. Um, just crazy stuff going on right now, you know? Uh, my favorite thing to do during Easter, other than try to participate in an Easter egg hunt, is watching The Prince of Egypt. It is a gorgeous, beautifully made masterpiece of an animated film. Even if you're not religious, I highly recommend watching the movie. It's just gorgeous. Uh, DreamWorks, that was kind of like their magnum opus. They worked on that movie for a pretty long time. I think a couple years. <clears throat> and um, it shows. I think it's one of their last... It's not... No, it's not definitely not one of their last, but it's definitely one of their best animated movies as far as 2D animation. It is just, again, it's a masterpiece. It's beautiful. Um, that's something I always like to watch every year around this time because, like I said, it's just a great movie. I know a lot of people like watching the OG 12 Commandments, uh, the one that came out in like, what was it, like 60-something? Um, I mean, that version's alright, but I much prefer Prince of Egypt just because of, again, how well made it is. I mean, not that the old one is not well made, it's a classic movie also, and um, in its own right too. But, like I said, the the Prince of Egypt, I just, I just love so much. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is it for just little updates. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 because last night I watched episode two of Digimon Adventure Colon. So, huh, I don't know. Uh, one thing that I did notice immediately off the bat is that the animation at the beginning, very stiff, uh, noticeably stiff compared to the first episode. But as the episode went along, the animation, especially when the shit started hitting the fan, the animation got real, real, real intense. So that was cool. Uh, it's good to know that they're, that's, I, I can see them doing that. Where like, they keep the animation pretty stilted, pretty, you know, just like strategically placing where they're gonna like really spend their time in with the animation. Because the fight scenes were really well animated. Once Algomon evolves, that was amazingly animated. Everything changed. The tone changed. The animation got way better. So that was really good. Now, um... I... Obviously, spoilers. Letting you guys know. Um, personally, I had a feeling that they would show Omnimon in this episode. Because we saw Matt last episode. Algomon's gonna evolve, and he did, and his Mega now looks a lot like Diaboromon with the hair and the crazy eyes that are, you know, they're independently moving. Very much, you know, like Diaboromon. I don't even, I gotta look back at Algomon, but I don't even think his, like, original, I'm pretty sure this is a new design, because his original design was, like, more plant-like, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, you know, Ty meets Matt for the first time. We get to actually hear Metal Guru, not Metal, but Gururumon and, and Greymon talk, and I like their voices. The filter they put over it is interesting, um, but I like their their voices. I'm pretty sure they're both new voice actors for both of those um, those uh, those evolutions because they sounded different. They, they didn't sound like um, the ones that I've heard before. But I could be wrong. It might be just be the filter they're putting over their voices that makes it sound different. Um, so that that was that was interesting. Um, Matt's still Matt, um, still stoic, but he, he's less of a he. He seems less abrasive. We haven't seen much of him, but he does seem less abrasive. Like he wasn't adverse to Ty helping him, which is good. Um, so I gotta rewatch the episode. Because there were some things I think I missed. 
and I've, this was uh, just what I've been doing since episode one now. Um, but watching this episode, something I've noticed was it, it the the escalation is so quick. Like we're doing our war game, which I was like, it's cool, and it is so far pretty good. Especially the way they're escalating everything, but the problem is, like, this is only the second episode. Like, are we gonna be able to keep this momentum? I, I, I think, I hope. I, I don't know though, because uh, I mean, nukes about to hit Japan and you know destroy it. That's pretty major compared to Apocalypse. I feel like personally, maybe because it's just a more personal thing. You know, a nuke hitting. Tokyo compared to Apocalypse wanting to destroy the digital world. Maybe because that's why I, I feel like it's, you know, too much of an escalation. Um, seeing Omnimon was cool, but it's just too soon. I think what they should have done at the very least is had uh, War Grimon and Metal Garurumon, you know, just have them warp digivolve um, and then wait for Omnimon until, like, the end of this arc, which it seems like, because like it's not done yet, it seems like um, I don't know, like this this so far is feeling like it was a movie that was cut up. You know what I mean? Like just the the, the way it's going. Like these, I, I'm gonna assume maybe this is gonna be a four or five episode arc. So this four or five episode arc could be that's about the length of a movie. So I'm I. I, I Think that's what they're doing i guess that maybe each arc is gonna be four to five episodes or maybe just this introductory you know arc is gonna be four to five episodes but either way i think it was just too early to show omnimon in the series um did they just get it so soon you know that's uh that's a big deal that's a super ultimate digimon if we're trying to introduce digimon to new kids like uh they need to like we still haven't under we, we haven't explained exactly yet like how Digimon work as far as evolution goes like obviously I know it you guys who are watching you guys know the different evolution stages but like a new kid watching it like they saw Koromon then he became Agumon then he became Greymon okay and then from Greymon we just jump about three levels to Omnimon I think it's a little too little too soon. But again, it was cool seeing him. I love Omnimon. It, it, it looks like they slightly changed his design, like very, very, very slightly. Um, but I like it. It looks good. Uh, it, the episode pretty much ended right there. I will say the one thing that I kind of that kind of caught my eye, and I was wondering what was going on, was Kari and TK. It seems like Kari and TK are going to be uh, a lot more important than they were in the base. You know the original Digimon adventure. I feel like I don't know because like the nuke launched and it looked like it landed, but then like no, it Omnimon uh, evolved. But at the same time, like I'm wondering, like was it about to hit and like Kari and TK's crests activated and they were somehow able to like rewind time a bit, or maybe like I I'm thinking like w what like. Is the fact that we're seeing Animon so soon, is that, does that have something to do with Kari and TK? I wonder. I, I, I don't really know yet. You know, like, what were those... What were those feathers? I'm gonna guess Andromon and Andromon's feathers? I, I, I don't know yet. I am still trying to process that part. I think they're gonna come back to that in the coming episodes, if I had to guess. Um... But yeah, next episode we're getting Omnimon versus uh, the brand new version of Algomon. It's gonna be pretty exciting because, I mean, the fight scenes are like super well done. I really liked, um, you know, the, the fluidity of how, you know, Greymon was attacking and, you know, just, just uh, the, the animation is just so good. Like, I, I'm really, really liking the animation. I'm really happy that they're putting effort into animating it because it's really easy to just, like, not do that nowadays um so yeah overall i still liked it i am a bit worried because we're seeing omnimon so soon something has to happen after this they can't just constantly go to omnimon like 
they have to explain this somehow because like if they can do if they can warp to Omnimon now there's got to be an explanation of why they can't do it later on in the series or everything's going to be a joke because Omnimon can wipe out like a majority of the problems that you could have like how, how many Digimon are we going to fight that are at the level of Omnimon so they get, they're going to have to explain something where like Either they can't do it because of some mental block, or they can't do it again because they're, you know, this was like a dire situation and that like gave them the push to do it, um, or something like that. Because they they're gonna have to explain why they can't use Omnimon all the time because Omnimon, like I said, super strong Digimon. Uh, it's gonna be a little like I, I can see people complaining like why isn't he showing out like why didn't you use Omnimon here? I'm not one of those people that do that. Uh, I understand that when you tell a story You don't want it to be over immediately, which is why you don't introduce certain things um, So I understand that I'm not the one to be saying that but at the same time There there needs to be a reason why they got Omnimon so soon and also a reason Why they can't use Omnimon all the time? Um, then again, well, no, and, and try it at the very end, once they fought uh, Alphamon, they did go Omnimon. Um, but they did wait, it's not like they went Omnimon immediately for, like, the first, you know, thing. So maybe they'll just say, like, you know, we only needed it when it was necessary. So yeah, um, I liked the episode a lot. I'm loving the new Digivice. I don't think there's a clip on the back of the Digivice. Uh, I noticed that. And I find that interesting because I, I'm pretty sure the original design had a clip even in the show if this new design does not have a clip on the back it makes sense because honestly who holds their devices clipped to their waists anymore that's not really a thing anymore that was a thing back in the day where people with older cell phones because they were so damn big they couldn't fit in your pocket really um so people like would clip them onto their pants uh, so they could have them you know around them so it makes sense if the new version does not have any clips so yeah, it, it would make sense if the new version doesn't have any clips because smartphones are very, you know, very flat and minimalistic. And uh, I, I definitely love the new Digivice. If I haven't mentioned that already, I have already. But I do love it. I, the animation it did when they went Omnimon was super cool where it was like blue and orange and it like spun around. That was cool. And I'm, I'm waiting to see, you know, uh, more information about the Digivice colon because they said that it was gonna have lights and sounds on top of it having a screen so hopefully it can do that kind of stuff where like it'll you know the dial will like spin and with different colors like that's gonna be really cool to see um but yeah i know that was a lot of talking about the new adventure episode but i mean this is exciting i want to talk about it and it's again it's interesting because I, I have I honestly have mixed feelings with the second episode. First episode I loved, second episode I have mixed feelings just because Omnimon, one, Omnimon so soon, and two, um, really that's that's really it, honestly, just the fact that we got Omnimon so soon. Um, so, you know, it was, like, it was glorious looking, though. There's a lot of, you know, they are showing that this is a dire situation, so. Like I said, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm teetering. I'm, I'm like in the, I'm like, uh, yes, no, yes, no. It's, uh, it's a struggle. But, like I said overall, I like it. I'm loving it. Um, I can't wait to see more. The only thing that I don't like about it is I have to wait every week for a new episode. That's really it. Uh, but it is exciting. Um, so, yeah. Let's jump into the X3s. Now, they both have the same Digimon. I'll just say that up front. Uh, this... It's interesting because I was just talking about this somewhat. We have Holy Dramon. I'm pretty sure that's Holy Dramon, right? Holy Dramon X, most likely. Holy Dramon X. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Holy Dramon. It looks a lot like her. Um, I know a lot of people do not like Holy Dramon for some reason. I don't know why. I think they're adorable. It's like a cute. Dang it, that's not good. I mean, this could be good actually. It's a cute, fluffy dragon. That's also like an angel, kind of. That's interesting. I like it. And it's pink. I think it's adorable. I like Holy Dramon. Holy Dramon, I think, is a good mega for Kari. Uh, personally, I get why a lot of people would rather. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's Holy Dramon. I'm pretty sure that's you. Uh, I know a lot of people would prefer 
what's her name? Ophanimon. I, I get that. But I mean, I think there should be some difference between the two. Uh, some distinction. And Holy Dramon is, is, is quite alright. Then again, I saw Holy Dramon when I was very young, because they make an appearance in the, the movie. So, that could have also helped the fact that I just kind of was like, okay, that makes sense. You know, a lot of people were really begging for them to have alternate evolutions in Adventure Cole, and I was, I'm one of them. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen, but who knows? You know, they, they could introduce something like that where they, you know, they're, each Digimon does have different evolutions that can occur. We've seen Skull Grimon. We've seen, we've seen evolutions that happen when you're angry. That is a thing. So, who knows if they'll go that route. I, I doubt, because I feel like they would want to keep it... You'd want to keep it simple, you know? That would complicate things a bit to introduce something like that. Like, you know, your, your emotions can influence your evolution, and that just becomes a constant, a common theme. I don't know, I think that'd be too much. Seems like they want to stay a bit more simple. But then again, I say that, and we're already on our War Game, and we already saw Omnimon in the second episode, so, like, I don't know. <laughs> hard to say, hard to say. Although, uh, real quick, these two, they're the same. You know, Greymon over here, and uh, uh, her boyfriend <laughs> over here. So, yeah. Nothing crazy going on there. Alright, well, that's good. So, we're here. Whew. Sorry. <clears throat> we're gonna grind on this. Get to max level. I don't know who she's gonna evolve into. I'm pretty sure they're both gonna be different super ultimates. This one already has a couple care mistakes, though. I, just, I woke up really late. For some reason, this one didn't. This one did, though. I don't know why. Um, I, I really don't, because they're both the same time on this device. They're, they're, I set them both at the same time, so the fact that they both have care mistakes is a little baffling. I, I don't really know why, personally. Like, I, honestly, I don't. Like, they both, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully he evolves, uh, because I know that at least the super ultimates on both devices are different, even though right now the last two evolutions have been the same. The Super Ultimates are different, because the Royal Knights are split between both devices, so we'll get a different Royal Knight... Crap. We'll get a different Royal Knight on both devices. And... I'm hoping for Genkuman X, who is on the yellow, if I'm not mistaken. So, if she doesn't evolve, and we're kind of... I screwed myself out of that, I'm gonna be a little, a little angry. Because if Holy Dramon is the one to evolve into that evolution then I'm going to be mad because then I have to do this again. I mean, pretty sure someone else can become Genkumon X, but I don't know who they are yet. <sighs> Just a little, a little stressed out. Not like I'm freaking out and I'm going to like, you know, not like super stressed. It's just like I'm worried because I want to make sure this one evolves. Hopefully it's Genkumon X if it is awesome because then we, I can show off just my GX and I really want to see him um, and you know if not I don't, I don't know and then these two haven't evolved but I, I don't think they're supposed to evolve today they're supposed to evolve later today slash halfway through tomorrow I think um, but I, I will do more battles on these two just in case because it's like old style rules on the minis where and by old style rules I mean like nowadays you're pretty much guaranteed an evolution on these newer devices, you, you reach a requirement, you get the evolution. Simple as that. On the older devices, though, there were chances of getting an evolution. You get like a percentage of a chance to evolve, and it's like that is like scary, especially on the pendulum. Uh, if you guys have never seen my run on the OG pendulum, I tried three times. I, I got just a, just a bit closer each time, but never got to ultimate uh, or or mega on a pendulum an og pendulum because it's it's quite hard you have to really grind to be able to get it to the final stage it's like it's a grind and it's also stressful because you don't really know what you're doing uh, or at least i didn't know what i was doing and um everything counts you know if you're not training and you're not getting you know giga hits that is counting towards uh, your evolution. So if you're not getting that, you're you're missing out on those chances. 
you're not getting enough wins, that also is getting into your chances. It, it is like, it's a numbers game and it's like hardcore. It's kind of crazy how difficult the older ones were. I mean, I get why, like nowadays it wouldn't fly because we just, we have so many things that we do in a day. There's so many different devices that we have and different games we play. So to dedicate your time to one of, you know, something like that, it's just not really a good idea to have that as a, as a mechanic. But nowadays it's just like, you know, you, you, you do the thing and they evolve. Like, you're guaranteed an evolution unless you get an evolution failure. Um, which I prefer. <laughs> Personally, I think a lot of people prefer it. Um, oh, it's Garudamon. I don't know if it's Garudamon X, but it's a, it's a, a Garudamon. I mean, that wasn't hard, now was it? Yay, we cleared a stage. It's been a while, I know. But we cleared a stage. Like I said, we're going to start trying to clear the quest mode from here on out because I want to start seeing some new evolutions. We're starting to fall into samey territory, but the moment I start unlocking other evolutions, we'll start seeing new Digimon. Um, whew, excuse me. Um, so that's what the plan is right now. We're going to keep going in the quest mode. We're going to get these both to level 10. Keep going in the quest mode. Probably, I'm definitely not going to beat it. There's like 40... Around 45 again this time, I believe. You can't do that in a day. I mean, you could, but I, I don't... I'm not going to do that. I'm going to burn myself out. Uh, so, level 10 on these two. Praying that this one evolves. This one's definitely going to evolve. These two are hopefully going to evolve. And uh, Wednesday is a new hatch. Um, and the new hatch is an Earth Day hatch, I believe. Humulus has already posted the... You know, Digimon that he, they recommend you run. I don't think I'm going to be participating in that just because I'm I'm in the middle of a run with these two. I'm in the model, the model. I'm in the middle of a run with the X3s, and I'm in the middle of a run with the minis. So I don't think I'm going to be able to participate, sadly. But um, yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Unless unless we go super ultimate, then I'll try to see if there's someone on here that is applicable but probably not i don't think any other digimon i have currently on the x3 go with the theme so like i said it's a it's a bummer but we're probably not going to be um we're not going to be showing off um any digimon for that hatch but i mean i was able to participate in this hatch so i'm fine with that but um yeah that's another long episode uh I, I, I keep wanting to say I'm sorry, but I, I, no one, no one cares about long episodes anymore. Not that I, well, that's not that no one cares. Is that people like long episodes now, um, which is good. I just remember when I first started this, um, people would complain, but now people don't complain. It's just so weird to me. But thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna go because I got a lot to do. As I just said, huge shout out to my patrons, Omega Scourge. And Casey Joes, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you, watching right now, for supporting the channel as well. I do appreciate it. Stay safe, stay inside, drink your water. I'm going to go. Thank you so much. Peace.